real world scenario it doesn't it doesn't look like we're going to be graphing or anything like that looks like we're just simply building it up and then seeing um what the inequality might be so let's see alina spent no more than 45 dollars on gas for a road trip okay so let's just stop right there and let's think about what happens she spent no more than 45 okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to pause right there and we're just going to just think about this right so let's say 30 40 50 55 let's think about this is it possible for her to spend 55 dollars if you can't spend more than 45 no what about 50 mm -mm. can she spend 45 dollars if she can spend no more than 45 okay what does that really mean it means that she has 45 dollars but she can't spend more than that so she could spend 45 she just can't spend 45 dollars and 10 cents but 45 works so then therefore she has enough to spend 40 and enough to spend 30. so which inequality okay before we even like look down that road which inequality do you think might work for this if it's no more than see how these numbers are less than this tells this telling us a less than but then since we can spend the amount 45 and she has that less than or equal to is going to be the inequality we use for this all right so she can spend no more than 45 dollars on gas for road trip the first gas station she used charged three dollars and fifty cents per gallon and the second gas station charged four dollars per gallon okay so immediately we have two scenarios right yes we're still talking about gas stations right in general but there's two separate gas stations each charging different prices um, this says which inequality and that's my mistake this should have been saying right in inequality that relates the number of gallons of gas she bought in the first station X so I'm just gonna immediately write that down number of gallons okay at first station and the number of gallons okay at the second station so we're going to write in an equality that it's going to relate the number of gallons she bought at the first station x and the number of gallons she bought at the second station y and the total amount that she paid okay so total amount paid all right now we know that the most she can spend though is 45 dollars so we know that it can't definitely cannot exceed that what are the possible values of y all right, so let's see now. If we were to create an inequality to represent this, we have already established that we're gonna be using a less than or equal to 45, okay? This represents the total money, which means that everything here must be representative of something with money, okay? Now, where is she spending this, this $45? She's spending it at two gas stations, right? So X was the first gas station, and she's spending it at a second gas station why okay these don't tell you how much she's spending it tells you the number of gallons that she's buying at the x gas station and the number of gallons at the second one but when you go and you buy these gallons that the, there's a price tag associated with it so since we want everything to be about money right this 45 is about money that means that each gallon is three dollars and fifty cents at the first one and at the second one it's four dollars per gallon at the second gas station when you add them up right because she went to two different ones when you add up the total amount she spent at the first station the second station it should be less than or equal to 45 so this is what's going to be our our uh, inequality symbol here okay um i don't think they really gave us too much more information they just said what are the possible values of y um, and I believe that this is because it came from a different problem. So let's just say that she's, uh, she bought, hypothetically, right? She bought uh, four gallons at station one, at the first station, okay? So X would then be four, and we can substitute that here. So if she had bought four gallons, I know it didn't say that in a problem, but let's just assume that that's what she bought, okay? then how do we determine how many gallons she bought at the second gas station so that she doesn't overspend well if she's bought four gallons four times 3.50 is going to be 14 dollars okay and i should let me, let me let me not write the uh the dollar sign so 14 plus 
4.00y is less than or equal to 45. And to solve for y, just do this the way you normally would. So subtract 14 from both sides. All right, and we get 4. So, so this comes straight down. $4 for every uh, gallon is equal to, what is this, 31? And then to get y by itself, to determine how many gallons she bought at $4 per gallon, uh, excuse my calculator. Okay, I noticed that my thing totally just froze. That's all right, it happens. And we get 31 divided by four, and you get that y, y has to be less than or equal to 7.75. Okay, now you can't just go, um, now assuming that we wanna determine the number of full gallons, full gallons, right? This is saying that she doesn't have enough to buy eight gallons, so she's gonna have to just settle to buy seven full gallons if she bought four gallons at the first station, okay? Because then we wouldn't have enough money. All right, so that's an example of what it is. This is really the main point that I want to get across is how you set it up. And in the second one here, maybe we'll have a different scenario. So Penelope went to the store to buy X pounds of broccoli for $1.10 per pound and Y cans of soup for $2.50 each. In total, she spent less than $10. The inequality relating the purchase she made and the total purchase price is this. What are some reasonable solutions? All right. So this looks like it might be a lot of math work. Now, the good thing is that they told us the variables, okay? what they mean, but even better is that they literally created it for us. So a dollar and 10 cents per pound of broccoli, that's how they got that, plus 250Y, that's every can of soup costs 250. And she cannot spend, see, less than, less than symbol, $10. And it's saying, which one of these uh, works? Well, if X is pounds of broccoli, okay, so X means broccoli and Y is cans of soup. That means that when we have a coordinate X comma Y, right? This is really talking about broccoli comma soup. So like in this equation here, where we have negative one comma four, is it possible that she has negative one pounds of broccoli and four cans of soup? Well, the four cans of soup is fine, but she cannot have negative pounds of broccoli, so this is actually gone, okay? Um, what about the second one? And let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger here. Okay, like that, perfect. So we cross this off. What about uh, zero pounds of broccoli and two cans of soup? So if I were to put that here, that'd be 1.10 times 2 point, oh, I forgot my Y. 2.50 times two is less than 10. If she bought no uh, broccoli, then there would be no cost there. This would be five is less than 10. And it's possible that if she bought two cans of soup at 250 each, that means she spent $5, which is definitely less than 10, okay? And what you're really just doing is you're just substituting for each one, okay? So like here we have $1.10 times three plus 250 times 2.5. Now, do we have to do this? You could, but if you use like logical thinking, okay? Remember, this is a pound of broccoli. We can have decimals in pounds. Like, you, like it's possible to go buy two and a half pounds of broccoli, but can you get two and a half cans of soup? And when you go to the supermarket, can you can you chop a, a can in half and, and buy that? Right? Hopefully not, because that'd be kind of weird. So this is something that we cannot have. And knowing that, uh, we cannot have, remember, the y value is soup. Knowing that the y values can never be decimals, let's just go through here and see what else we have. See here, 3.78, we can't have that. So that's gone, right? Now we've just eliminated a lot of, a huge portion of the question, and we're left with these two. So two pounds, sorry, two pounds of broccoli and four cans of soup leaves us with $2.20 for the broccoli. This leaves us with $10 for the soup. And you'll see that when you add this up, you get $12.20 is not, okay, I put this symbol with a not less than 10. This is false. 
So we cannot have this. And then the last one, 1 1.10, if you bought a pound and a half, and then you bought three cans, is it less than 10? Okay, so for this one, I'm not too sure. So I have to actually use my calculator here, 1 1.10 times 1.5, and you get $1.65, right? Plus $7.50, less than 10. When you add this up, you're gonna get nine dollars and fifteen cents I believe which is less than ten and this is definitely okay so this would be a viable solution right and that's it for these guys um, we might have a little bit of time here to do this one I'm not too sure if we'll have this so I think I'll do this in a separate video